Hello everybody, this is Owen Fox. <laughs> for this. Um, so is this recording? Okay everyone, welcome to the video and I want to share with you my little wild forage here in Brayhead, Ireland, a beautiful place. And today I'm going to show you some wild garlic and some other wild greens that you can eat and forage and that are medicinal and healthy and happy and fun to ask the plants and gratefully, you know, receive from the plants with gratitude and love and appreciation. So here is where I am, lots of wild garlic flowering, all this white flowers. So here we can see it. It's like, it's very, very beautiful smell, I really have to say. So just, mmm, just, mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. It's just a little like, you know, squeeze, it releases some of the oils or fragrances and juices. Oh, so good. So there's two types. Um, I don't see the other type. The other type looks like a, like um, like a, like a daffodil almost, like that type of like stem coming up, but has a, a white flower similar to this. But this um, this this one here has long like leaves, where it's the other one doesn't. This is like stronger, so the leaves and the flowers are beautiful garnished and salad, or you can eat them straight up. Um, the leaves are strong, and you can eat. I'm pretty yeah. Obviously, you can eat the bulb underneath. I don't usually bother going for the bulb because just you know. You know, I guess I figure I kill. I sort of like take them of plants' lives um, when I buy, which I'm which I'm okay with because I believe they come here knowing they're going to be taken. But when it comes to the wild plants, <laughs> it'll be. When it comes to the wild plants, I just prefer to keep them alive generally and take their leaves, but not too many leaves because you don't want to like damage the plant too much. So there's the wild garlic. Um, let me see what else is around here. A minute ago, I saw lots of Herb Robert. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this place is covered with the wild garlic everywhere, anyway. So, yeah, I hope hope you get out there and enjoy stuff, stuff like dandelions. If you subscribe to my channel, or go to my channel wall, and check in my playlist, like, wild foraging plants and mushrooms, I have lots of videos about, like, all the typical wild edibles you can find in your back garden, and that you can find in nature, pretty close to your house, you know? Stuff like dandelions, nettle, thistle, herb robert, clover, cleaver, um, poor man's pepper. I have yet to make a video about that, but I saw it just back there. Um, here's herb robert here. This one is called dragon's blood because it has like sort of like wine colored, um, like dragon's blood type of blood vessels. And it's also called... Um, Fox geranium because it's a member of the geranium family. It's you can make tea and use it as an eye wash. It's supposed to, supposed to be anti cancerous and tu anti tumorous, etc. Um, it's also called crane's bill because if you see these, um, it, it, they end up growing a bit and sticking out like a big crane's bill, like a big pointy bill. But they're just an early development. Here we have like sour dock, also called flat dock, it's like a dock leaf. The root of that on the leaf can be uh, made tea out of, juiced or um, dried and powdered, or simply dried and not powdered and used as a tea later on after the season is over. So every plant, everybody, every plant is a living being. It's not the name that we call it. They're all unique. Just like you can't identify, oh, there's, that's a human. Oh, that's a human. I know what that is. It's a human. Same way as you can, every plant and every animal and every person is unique. So don't be fooled or tricked by labels. You know, every plant is a unique being and it comes here for its own life. Um, and is to be respected and cared for and loved and treated with like reverence. Same with every animal, plant, human, you know. Humans too. So here is a bigger Herb Robert. Here is, um, it's starting to grow bigger like dragon's blood, you know. Such an incredible plant, it's so vibrant and powerful, it's pretty bitter. Some people make the tea and sieve it and use it as an eye wash, as I said, for eye infections, etc. And just internally, I've done all of this, I've juiced it, I've eaten it, I've blended it, I've made tea out of it. And here are dandelions, the famous dandelion. Such a beautiful flower, really good for your eyes, has lecithin. And then the stalk is edible too. The leaves are kick-ass for your kidneys, and um, the roots are really good for your liver and gallbladder. Uh, Here's grass. All grasses are edible. None of them are poisonous or bad for you. 
all grass is edible, so I don't care for wheat grass. I just like juice my own wild grass. Wild, every single wild plant has like much better and stronger biophoton electromagnetic aura energy. That's what it basically is, like sunlight power. Um, the genetics of a wild plant, like, like, like a wild tiger or lion compared to a wild kitty cat or compared to a domesticated kitty cat. So if you can think of the power, these wild plants like are fiercely competing in a, in a survival of the fittest lifestyle, which they've come into happily to participate in. And uh, they're full of minerals in untamed, unfarmed soil, like rich foliage after foliage falling and falling and all going into the rich soil. Here's cleavers, also called sticky willy. Cleavers is a lymphatic herb, really good for lymph nodes and lymphatic system, which is incredible. The lymphatic system is the sewer system where metabolic uh, cellular waste as well as other toxins and wastes and stuff like even like parasites and uh, like, um, to, like bacteria like and uh, viruses inhabit. They hang out in our sewer system like a septic tank. So cleavers and fruits and fasting all help clear and clean our lymphatic system. And lymphatic herbs like cleavers. Cleavers is actually maybe even the number one Western, like the number one Western uh, herb for. It's kind of sticky, as you can see. That's why it's called sticky willy. <laughs> hey, little plant. So I always try and be t tender to the plant, and if I ever take any, just take it off gently, and not to be reefing it apart, like you know, treating it roughly. I know it might sound weird to some people, but that's okay. Mm. Yeah. So, do do loo. This is Brighthead in Ireland, everybody. So yeah, lots of beautiful plants. I'll go now and I hope you enjoy this little walk in nature. And I would recommend and suggest get out in nature. <sighs> Move your body and enjoy the very positive and powerful healing effects and energy of Mother Earth, nature, all the energy of all these, all the plants, animals and insects here. Super beautiful and heat harmonizing, de-stressing, relaxing. Here's nettle. There you go, nettle there. They say just cut the top shoots, like just the top little portion there, you know. Uh, yeah, not too much of it, just the top of it. Because that's where it's good and the bottom leaves, they say, can have too much of it. Something that's not supposed to be that great for us. So. I just decided I was in the house too much today. I decided I just needed a change, wanted a bit of fresh air and exercise. So I thought I'd get out here in nature and uh, recharge myself, basically speaking. Golf course. So the best things in life are free. Like the happiness and love and joy we can receive from positive interactions with people and relationships. Uh, moving our body is free, breathing exercise, fresh air, listening to the birds and being in nature, good sleep and rest. So important, all of these things. All of that stuff, that's the fundamentals. And then not overeating and not eating too late at night time to go to bed on an empty stomach. Wow, look at that beautiful path. And touching the earth and touching the water, like grounding ourselves, all of this is like very, very powerful healing for the human body. It's all natural. I'd also recommend a natural, unprocessed, as much as possible, raw and fruit-based diet as much as possible in the most simplest natural form, just like all of this here, all natural and simple. And all of that stuff in moderation and balance, eating the realest of food, the healthiest, freshest, and even possibly the most homegrown is the food, which isn't essential, but it's more like the substance, the amount and the timing of when we eat, etc. What we eat and how much we eat is the most powerful, along with all the other things I mentioned, which all combine very powerfully to heal all, pretty much all diseases, our brain, liver, kidneys. Oh, there's some beautiful horses, so beautiful. Hi, horses. Wow, so beautiful. You heal your arms, legs, muscles, joints, kidneys, lymphatic system, veins, arteries, blood vessels, skin, hair, teeth, nails, everything through the processes I just mentioned now 
which all involve a process of nourishing the body with the food designed for human beings, which is fruits, number one, by far. Fruits are superfoods that make us like superhumans that we really are already. And so do all these natural, beautiful things. Hey, beautiful. You're a nice horsey. Man, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please give it a like if you've liked it. Um, share with anyone you think can benefit from this video. And any friends or family you think can benefit and learn. And also subscribe for future videos on holistic healing of body, mind, spirit and mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, thriving and super well-being of the heart and becoming super and powerful, powerful, empowered, divine being that we are. Okay, see you everyone. Have a beautiful day.